Hexagon Photo Collage Tutorial for Scribus. Open a new document, I took A4, Portrait, Units Millimeter, and Margins 10 Millimeters. Open the menu Insert Polygon with following properties, Corners equals 6 and Rotation equals 30 degrees. Press OK. Select the hexagon and press F2, this opens the properties window. Open the XYZ tab, change width and height to 50mm and click the keep aspect ratio icon. Open the line tab and set line width to 3mm. Open the Drop Shadow tab and click Has Drop Shadow. Set X Offset, Y Offset and Blur to 1mm. With the hexagon selected, open the menu item Duplicate Transform Multiple Duplicate. Select the By Rows and Columns tab and fill in Number of Rows equals 3, Number of Columns equals 3. Horizontal gap equals 50 mm divided by 2 and vertical gap equals minus 50 mm divided by 2 multiplied by 1.155. The 50 mm is the width and height from the polygon and 1.155 is the height to width ratio of a regular hexagon. After pressing OK you get 9 hexagons and 3 rows. Select the middle hexagon in the right column and press delete. Now select the two others in the middle row with shift click and in the XYZ properties tab add plus 50 divided by 2 multiplied by 1.5 after the value in the XPOS field. This will move these two hexagons in place. Select all. Control A, and apply item convert to image frame. If you want you can change the stroke color in the properties color menu. In this example I have set the stroke color to cyan and shade to 90%. You can eventually select some hexagons and convert them to text frames or polygons. After that, we select all hexagons with Ctrl A and group them with item grouping group. If needed resize the group with keeping the aspect ratio. Then apply menu window align and distribute align relative to page and click the center on vertical and horizontal axis icons. Next I draw a rectangle shape and fill it with cyan. With the rectangle selected, I do item level lower to bottom. Ungroup the hexagons and click on one of them to insert images or text or change the fill color. You can change the overlap order with item level raise or lower. After saving your work you can add text frames and other items to your document, but this is not the scope of this tutorial.